When you're at the Border Patrol checkpoint, your duties are to enforce immigration laws and look for terrorists and look for weapons of mass destruction and assist in detecting narcotics. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And when you do this, of course, you're following a procedure manual that tells you what to do? Uh, uh, following policy, sir. Uh, written policy? Yes, sir. You have a copy of their written policy? No, I do not, sir. Uh, have you ever seen a copy of that written policy? That states our authority to conduct immigration checks or for the checkpoint itself, sir? For that checkpoint? No, I have not, sir. Are you aware of any written guidelines or policies or procedures on how to run that checkpoint? I am aware that they're out there, sir. You're aware that they're out there? Let me get this straight. You're testifying right now that you are aware that there are written guidelines and procedures for this checkpoint? Can you state that question again, sir? Is it your testimony here and now that there are written guidelines and procedures for this checkpoint? To my knowledge, yes, sir. Have you seen them? No, I have not, sir. But to your knowledge, they exist? Yes, sir. Do you recall on June 1st of this year giving a telephonic statement to Mr. Victor? I do not recall the exact date, but yes, I do uh, recall a telephonic interview, sir. Do you recall you were in a room with Mr. Katz? Yes, sir. I believe there was another attorney in the room who was a representative of the Border Patrol Union? Yes, sir. And you're on the telephone to Mr. Victor? Yes, sir. And you're aware that that tape recording was re that was being recorded? Yes, sir. And were you trying to tell the truth at that time? Yes, sir. Do you remember being asked during that statement if you were aware of any written guidelines, policies, and procedures for this checkpoint? Do I remember that specific question, sir? Yes, sir. No, sir. Do you remember saying that you were not aware of any written guidelines, policies, or procedures? No, sir. Would it help to refresh your memory if you heard a tape playing of your voice? Yes, sir. Your Honor, if I may. If you want to use that one, it's fine. Just get this started right at the beginning of that. Yes, we need to. Please listen to this tape and uh, this is your voice and if you remember being asked this question and given this answer. And Your Honor, the state's going to object at this point. Was this noticed as part of your trial exhibit and disclosure? Uh, actually, Judge, uh, this doesn't need to be noticed because it's impeachment, which is exactly how we're using it right now. Your Honor, the same standard would apply to both parties the state would expect. That everything that be given in notice to both parties. Judge. The law is well settled in Arizona. Uh, if the defense had to give impeachment to the state of the state's witnesses before the state's witnesses testified, it wouldn't be much of impeachment, would it? We're simply disclosing the audio tape of the interview that the state's witness, where the state's counsel was present throughout the entire interview. Your Honor, I have no understanding what possibly could be the objection to this. Your Honor, may I have a moment? You may. Your Honor, Mr. An Mr. Victor is quite correct under Rule 613B. The state withdraws its objection. You may proceed.
Agent Gomez, did you recognize that as your voice? Yes, sir. Were you asked the question if there were any policies, procedures, or written policies, procedures, or guidelines for that checkpoint? Yes, sir. And was your answer that you were not aware of any? Yes, sir. Thank you. Do I have your testimony correct that when people pull up and you ask them if you're a U.S. citizen and whether they answer yes or no, then they're on their way? Yes, sir. So if someone pulls up and you say, are you a U.S. citizen, and they say no, they're on their way? No, sir. Well, which is it? You just said if they say yes or no, they're on their way. But can I ask you, said, I asked the question a different way. If they said no and you said they're not on their way, which one is it? Usually if somebody says no, they already have their immigration documents with them. They present that to me and they're on their way. And do I have your testimony correct that if you are unable to determine citizenship at the checkpoint, do you usually try to get them to go to secondary? Yes, sir. Not all the time? No, sir. So sometimes you cannot determine citizenship at the primary, and, but you just let them go? No, sir. Okay, now I'm confused again. I originally asked if you are unable to determine citizenship at the primary checkpoint, that you usually try to get them to secondary. Yes, sir. I did not say always try to get them to secondary. Do you understand my question? Yes, sir. Usually means sometimes not, doesn't it? Yes, sir. So is it fair to say that sometimes if you are unable to determine citizenship at the primary checkpoint, that you let them go anyway? No, sir. I don't understand again. If someone comes up and you cannot determine citizenship, you say you usually try to get them to secondary. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Usually means not always. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Like, I usually wear a suit to court, but not always. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. So there are some times that people come up and you are unable to determine citizenship, but you just let them go on their way. Is that correct? No, sir. And what do you do with them? I try to establish the citizenship, citizenship there. And suppose you can't. Then they go to secondary, sir. So if you are unable to determine citizenship, they always go to secondary? Yes, sir. Not usually, but always now? Yes, sir. Mr. Anderson was sent to secondary inspection because of the dog alert. Is that correct? It was a combination of both immigration and the canine alert, sir. Okay. So you're saying part of the reason he was sent to secondary was immigration, and not yes, the dog sir. alert? Yes, sir. But wasn't the decision made to send him to secondary, wasn't that decision made before he ever got to you? Yes, sir. And the decision was made, or you got the signal from Agent Spoonamore? Correct. Before any immigration question was asked? Correct. And Agent Spoonamore gave you that signal because his dog alerted? Correct. So the dog decided to send him to secondary? Correct. How does the dog determine immigration status? He, the canine does not determine citizenship, sir. So he wasn't sent to secondary for immigration. He was sent to secondary because the dog alerted. Mr. Anderson never answered my immigration question. But the decision that he was going to secondary had already been made, correct? Correct. He could have pulled up to that primary checkpoint with a passport in his hand, and he was still going to secondary. Is that correct? Correct. Is there any better documentation of U.S. citizenship than a U.S. passport? No, sir. So it didn't matter what he said, he was going to secondary? 
Yes, sir. Because the dog said so. Because the dog, the canine alerted to the vehicle, sir. Is a canine trained to alert to people here illegally? No, sir. So the dog wasn't alerting for immigration? 